to Arlington, Texas. Our continuing coverage of the 2010 PBA Experience Showdown presented by Bowl.com. Up now, competitor number two on the day, that man, Storm and Norman, Norm Duke. The PBA Experience Cheetah Champion is a 33-time winner on tour, fifth on the all-time list. First player ever to win three consecutive majors from Claremont, Florida. Please welcome PBA Hall of Famer, Norm Duke. <laughs> Norm's mom in attendance here, Martha. Norm always a crowd favorite. It has been an immensely challenging season for Norm as he begins his efforts today on the shark oil pattern. And there you see the characteristics of the shark oil pattern having to play the deep inside line. Duke here because he won the Cheetah Championship. Lost game one and game two down 42 pins. How many? To Ryan Simonelli in the best of seven. Oh, that got him going. He stormed back, ended up winning that match with Ryan Simonelli. Four games to one. His only victory of the season coming at the World Series of Bowling at the Cheetah Championship back in mid-August. So Norm with a strike on the shark. Moves on now to the chameleon. <laughs> Through the nose, gets the seven to drop and a good break for him. And talking to him today, this season, between ankle and calf injuries has not gone anything close to the way he wanted it. Yeah, he said it's been a miserable season for him and you know he talked about the ankle injury well that's not bowling related so that heals but the right calf injury is a lingering bowling injury and every time he feels like it's gotten better it comes right back and norm we were talking with you earlier today about that calf injury how's it feeling through two feels fine feels great feels great i can hear every word you're saying <laughs> Back it off just a little bit on that volume, would you? Yeah, I'll try my best. Hey, what did you learn from watching Ruer throw these five lanes? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. All right, then. I'll be sitting over here if you need me. <laughs> you tell me. Well, see, now, look, Norm's got a cheat sheet here. And we talked to him today, and he was saying something that I, I found really interesting. You know, I, I usually let the ball do the work. I don't really get psyched out about these oil patterns. Here, All right, all right so they put the oil down. Great. I'm going to do my game. Today, he was talking more like, I need to know what these oil patterns are going to do, and I need to know what the tendencies of them are. And he obviously took some notes during warm-ups. Here he is on the Viper. Well, we talked with him earlier. He said that he, with the exception of Shark and Cheetah, which are two completely different patterns separated by eight feet of oil, he said he's going to try to play the other three patterns very similar and just change equipment, rev rate, oh. and speed. He said today, I think for the first time ever, I'll give the patterns some credence and play where I'm supposed to. I found that fascinating. Well, Norm is obviously a very versatile and talented player, and you know we've seen him play certain patterns for example i've seen norm play outside on the shark oil pattern you're not supposed to because of the buildup of oil on the outside part of the lane shark forces you to play in the middle well i've seen him play out i've seen walter ray play out on that oil pattern so you know norm can do certain things with the bowling ball that not every player out here can do one of them being throwing it very straight from the extreme outside part of the lane norm has gone strike right. spare spare he now moves come on now one lane to the right, and we'll bowl on the Scorpion oil pattern. After that, Cheetah, and then Shark. Nine. Back off. Oh, yeah. Well, he said back off. He wanted it to hold line, and it did. And now Norm looking to double up here on the easiest of the five oil patterns. Reason why Cheetah is the easiest is because of the dry boards that are given in the outside part of the lane. I forgot what lane I was on. And this is the pattern that he won on, beating Ryan Simonelli. 
the shortest of right, the five named animal here. patterns. So that strike came on the scorpion. I may have misspoke, and now he moves to the cheetah. This will be his final oh, frame. Up here. And then he will sit what down. And it'll be Rhino Page coming up what after the break. For? Norm is doing a lot of talking to himself. Well, he, there's, a, there's a lot. Here for? Come on. A lot of adjustments going on. It's a different bowling ball now. I'm looking for him to throw this ball much faster. That was the old norm right there. Well, it's clean five frames and a double to finish. Nice going, nice start for Norm Duke. So three strikes and five frames for Norm Duke. And over the last couple of days, fans have had the opportunity to submit questions on TV.com for more of what matters to you. Fan question presented by One A Day. And it's directed to you, Norm. All right, it's coming away from Douglas Real of New Haven, Connecticut. Douglas wants to know, why do pros prefer one oil pattern over others? Is it equipment, bowling style, or something else? Well, that's a good, good question because I don't prefer any one pattern over the other because that means that I don't prefer one over all the others, and I think that is a negative. But most of the people uh, have a style that they uh, that they prefer, and when they put that style and equipment that uh, that they're really familiar with on a certain pattern, then obviously uh, they're gonna they're gonna fare well against the greatest players in the world. And when they're not, they're gonna have a little trouble. All right, Norm. Thanks for your time. We appreciate it. Yeah. We asked the same question to Norm earlier in the day, didn't we? Yep. Douglas, you mean we're all dialed in here. Yep. All right, up next, the second of two lefties on today's telecast, former Rookie of the Year, Rhino Page, waiting in the wings.